All right, one, two, three. We are recording. What's up, guys? Max Uhas here from LifeAfterArtSchool.net. And with me, I've got Malik Shabazz. Um, we're going to be talking about his um, – all right, what is – the AHO, what does it stand for again? It's uh, Artists Hangout? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, the Artists Hangout um, ne Next Step Tournament. And I'm actually going to share my screen here so that you don't have to see my uh, – I know I've had comments from people on YouTube about my hair recently, even though it is, <laughs> even though it is a work of art. But um, <laughs> okay, so basically, um, I, I, I'll I'll just give you guys uh, the story because because you know I, I like to help people out with stuff. Um, the the all the artists hang out uh, next step tournament. I saw a Facebook ad, and um, and I, and I watched the video, and I was like, this is this is pretty friggin' awesome. So I actually I, I shot uh, Malik a, a little private message there on Facebook. I said, "Hey man, let me let me help out with this because what you're doing is pretty kick ass." Um, I know a lot of you guys that watch this channel, or you know, um, please don't ever call yourself an up and coming artist. But um, you know, your your artists that are they're looking for you know just, just some inspiration, some motivation, and stuff. And, and this fired me up. So so I I hit up. Uh, Mr. Malik Shabazz here, and we got to talking, and uh, now you know we're, we're paying it forward a little bit. So, um, Malik, what what inspired this uh, this this whole tournament? Uh, well, I um, back in uh, I don't know, like 2015, I was uh, you know joining groups on Facebook, and I came across this one uh, with this artist that I guess. Uh, some people may or may, not, may or may not have heard of. Her name is uh, Afua Richardson. She works yeah, DC, Marvel, Valiant, you know, that whole deal. And um, she had this group called Dr. Fu's Lab. It's on Facebook. And We're not. On that, in that group, they had, you know, these weekly uh, hangouts on, on Google, Google Hangouts. And, you know, it was just artists and it's like a really cool vibe. And, you know, everybody would like hang out and, you know, share their experiences, give art tips, look at each other's uh, screens and say, hey, I'm having this problem. You know, uh, anybody know how to fix this? Or do you know how to work this program? You know, it was a real cool uh, studio environment. And, um, you know, I was doing that for months and uh, kind of got the idea like, you know, hey, it would be cool if there was a group where I was just focused on this. And so, you know, I, I did that and I started just as a group that was focused on that. Then after, you know, a lot of artists, you know, started joining that group, we had discussions and one of the constant things that always came up, it's like, you know, we would ask each other, like, okay, well, what are you working on right now? You know, uh, or equipment wise, like, what are you using? You know, people would talk about this program and most of the time people would talk about the tools that they were using and how like, you know, I, I barely got this thing. Or, you know, a friend of mine lent me this and he, and he gave it to me. It, it was just this constant, theme of how there were like these really great artists out there that just did not have the tools that they needed you know the best tools that they could get not that the tools make the artists but tools do help you produce you know better tools help you produce better work right a lot of people you know do the best they can with what they got you know no nothing against that but it was just there were so many people that I would come across that just, you know, could not afford, you know, this tool or that tool and dreamed, you know, like literally dream of, um, of you know, having a Cintiq or, or having a, a pen display that they could work on so they could, you know, produce uh, better work. And um, so I got to thinking about it and I was like, you know, well, what if we did uh, a tournament where, you know, the most hardest working artists would basically be rewarded for their efforts and they would get this tool that they could use in their art career, you know, to basically take that next step, you know, be able to produce um, a lot, you know, higher quality work. And another thing is like, you know, when, uh, as you probably know, when you're working on a professional level, you know, um, there's a lot of, uh, there's an expectation on you to be able to produce this type of work or that you work on these type of tools. Some people don't care, but a lot of people in like studios out here in California, it's like you, if you work, if you're working on like, you know, low grade tools, it can kind of hurt you. Yeah. Um, so it's, uh, it was just that idea that if you gave, you know, uh, we didn't want to like do something where we just put together a lot of money and did like a raffle and go, you know, here you go. Uh, 
you know, take this Cintiq or, or take this, you know, Surface Pro or, or whatever and just send people off into the woods. We wanted to be sure that like the person who won, you know, was capable, was determined enough to stick through it through the whole thing, was was versatile enough an artist that took the thing seriously, you know, that the whole competition was basically based on the idea that like, hey, if you can get to this tournament, the things that you're doing in this tournament, you can apply those to, you know, establishing yourself as an artist and becoming, you know, uh, a pro, so to speak, you know, air quotes, pro. But um, we just wanted to make sure that the person who won was, uh, you know, not just not, it wasn't about who was like the best artist. It was just about who was the hardest working, who was the most versatile, who could, you know, meet deadlines, who could work under these time constraints, who could say, hey, you know, you got to work in this style, you got to work in that style. Here's what the topic is. Can you do that? And, you know, that's how we came up with the tournament. That's how we molded you know, the, the format for it. And, um, you know, here we are today trying to expand on that so we can give that opportunity to even more artists. That's awesome, bro. That's uh, like, that's so legit. Like you, I mean, they're, and it's funny cause, cause I, I do, I mean, we, you know, this is just random. Cause this is our, our first time really communicating by like, except for like chatting and stuff. But I, um, I, I know just, I, cause I come from a family of artists and, mm -hmm. And, um, you know, and we're all over the place with, with what we do, but I mean, I, you know, I, I've, I, I've run, managed a, an art company for a long time. I do some custom work. I do custom mural work and stuff like that. And I, I just know like there's for just, just for what you're doing, there's, let's just put it this way. As far as karma, karma, karma dollars, you know what I mean? Like you, you've got so much coming back to you on this. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Because it's it's one of those things where it's like I I feel that the the market just just in in artists in general too because I think that there's there's this false sense of like competition between mm -hmm. a lot of artists where it's like I don't want to help that guy out because that guy might get the gig that I'm supposed to get or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, in all actuality, it's like everything kind of works out, and there, there's there's such a huge market for for every artist out there. You know, but but you have to have the right tools, and you have to have the right experience, and you have to have the, you have to get comfortable working under deadlines and working under you know kind of kind of the. I, I saw the way that the tournament was spaced out to where it's like you you know here's the design, here's the layout, here's the idea, get it done. Mm -hmm. you know? And um, and and I think with that, it's it's such a it's such a huge plus, you know, just just to be able to give people that experience, but at the same time bring bring together like a great network of of artists you know that that want to um you know that, that that could use some help and can use the experience and and could could build and and could definitely like network together and get together and do some awesome stuff um yeah so that's that's just it's freaking legit man I, I love i love what you're doing here and, and you did it last year and i mean was it was it the same amount of artists like everybody was uh everybody how many like was it people all over the country was it Oh yeah, yeah. It was um, we had set out to you know give one person um, a Cintiq, and it was the first time we were doing it. We learned a lot of stuff, but like uh, we knew that between all the artists in the group that we had and all the artists that we all knew, um, that we didn't necessarily have the funds to you know just buy a Cintiq and say, okay, here's the prize. You guys come get it. So. Right we said to ourselves, all right, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to say, if we all put $50 in a pot and, um, you know, 32 artists put $50 in a pot that will pay for the Cintiq itself. And it's just about like, you know, who, uh, who can, uh, complete the, 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 the assignments given out every week, who can, you know, be as versatile, be as hardworking as possible. And that person would be the winner. Um, thing is about that is like you know the the point of the tournament itself is like to help out cash strapped artists and part of being cash strapped is not everybody has fifty dollars to just right. throw down so we talked amongst ourselves like okay well what if you wanted to sponsor an artist and um we got uh you know we had uh uh john jennings who just won the eisner award he came through and um he uh, sponsored two artists. I sponsored four artists. Wow. Um, uh, 
James Washington, uh, Demetrius Moore, other artists uh, came along and they also uh, sponsored artists to make sure that the competition happened. But uh, ultimately, we did not get the 32 artists who were willing to, you know, we didn't get enough sponsors and we didn't get enough artists to, you know, put it all together uh, to get the prize that we had sought out to get. Um, but we just like, you know, we're just going to roll with it. We're just going to keep going and we're just going to, you know, get something comparable to this antique, which was like a Surface Pro 4. Right. Which was, uh, um, we had 20 artists, originally 22, but two bagged out at the end. Um, mm. So we had 20 artists. And that was um, through sponsorship and through artists putting in their own money. Uh, that was enough to afford the, the Surface Pro 4. And that's what the, uh, the first winner, uh, Jamal Steele, Ronald Jamal Steele, um, he won the, the first competition. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's so legit, though, man. And then, so, so the, the, now it's this, this time around, you get the Kickstarter going. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, as of right now, you got 39 days to go. You've got about 15% uh, of the goal hit. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, if you're watching this, um, you see what's going on here. Uh, I'm going to put the link for the Kickstarter below the video here um, if you want to contribute. Or, hell, I mean, are, is there a – like, what's what's the um, – what do you have to like if you wanted to enter in this? If you wanted to compete in this, what are what are the the rules and regulations? Or well, we're completely open to anyone who you know. If you got an internet connection and you want to compete, you know, then it's open to you. Uh, if sure. you want to sponsor an artist, uh, if you know an artist uh, who you think would really benefit from the opportunity, um, there is a, a reward for people who want to sponsor an artist. Um, if you want to enter yourself and you really want to, you know, help out, my suggestion is that you go to your friends and you go to your family, you tell them about this competition, tell them that you want to enter and have them sponsor you in, and then you'll have a, a secure place. At the moment, um, you know, you can download the application and, and the rules and such, um, which we, we still have to update, but you can download them to get an idea. There's not a lot of changes, but we just have to update you know, update dates and stuff like that. Um, you can download that stuff now, but we're not going to open up actual accepting of applications until after the Kickstarter. So um, the only way that you can actually secure your place is if you sponsor someone. And right now we have uh, still 22 slots available for people who are looking to secure a spot. Um, so availability of, uh, of, you know, of a place in the tournament depends highly on you know how many people get sponsors and if you want to enter the tournament and you want to make sure that you get a spot i suggest you you know go to your family or friends say hey i got this tournament you know i just need you guys to sponsor me it's only like a hundred dollars i know you know times are rough for everybody right now pockets are tight but you know a hundred dollars is isn't as hard to raise as like you know forty five hundred, which is yeah, hard to absolutely, raise. yeah, and that's that's what I mean. It's literally it's like you get forty five people kicking in a hundred bucks. That's that's actually very very doable. It, hence why I was like, you know what, let me just let me help out with this, you know, because hell, it, it you know if, if I can get you some extra some extra funding for this, I, I think it's fantastic. And I mean, I, I actually um, and it's funny because like we have um, or I'm not sure if like if we're connected within the art world or whatever, but I. I have other friends of mine that, that do comics and, um, and, and it, it's, it's, it's a very similar, very similar situation. You know what I mean? It, it's like the, uh, I don't know, I don't know if you know him, uh, Daryl Goza, but he was, he was one of, um, he was one of my teachers uh, a long time ago, but he, he does, he does, um, he does some comics and he, and he, he's got this crazy, like for anybody that wants to work with him, he's got this, uh, it's like a, I think it's a seven page, eight page comic book layout. Thing that he wants everybody to do and he's telling mm -hmm. he's told me in the last 15 years he's only had one person complete the entire thing oh wow um, yeah <laughs> I was like i was like damn bro he's like it's, he's like he's because it, it challenges you right? you know it's it's just for, for for what i mean doing doing art in general you know obviously it's like you have to have a passion for it but i think if you if you really want to get serious with your art it's like it's like joining competitions like this joining tournaments like this you know getting getting uncomfortable in the sense that it's like putting yourself out there and 
I, I mean, hell, man, just, just you doing this is like, <laughs> you know, because – because a lot of people talk, you know, a lot of people yeah. are like, oh man, you know, it'd be great. You know, it'd be great. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, you know, it'd be great, man, if we could do something like this. And that's when I saw this, I was like, dude, this is so friggin' awesome. Um, I'm going to help promote. So yeah. So guys, so, so the, it looks like it's over, uh, April 28th, 2017. Today is March 20th. So you got 39 days to go. Um, and like you said, there are some open spots if you want to join, if you just want to support, you know, you're giving out some really, really cool prizes on this. Um, oh, yeah, the art uh, book are going to be really amazing. Um, I, I wish <laughs> I wish that I could, uh, you know, it, which is one of the struggles of, you know, offering people a book that's yet to be made. But, right. you know, some of the artists that are already committed to competing and stuff are really uh, fantastic artists. Um, uh, Lindsey Bailey, Moses Ball, um, Jay Sloan, um, just uh, good, not just, uh, you know, they have different backgrounds. Moses Ball is definitely like a great fine artist. Uh, Lindsey Bailey is this uh, phenomenal, um, she's a phenomenal artist who does really good uh, surreal art, portrait, portrait work and stuff. Jay Sloan just... Uh, recently um, uh, completed his uh, Kickstarter for his book, Transgenesis. Um, uh, Terrence Gray, there's just some really good uh, artists that you may or may not have heard of, but they're on Facebook and they're doing amazing art and stuff. And so this competition, um, and li like you're talking about, you know, how it, it makes people uncomfortable, but it, it, it's a good uncomfortable because it really does bring people's uh best you know artwork out you know Absolutely. The pressure of of having to complete some art within a week within a deadline you know you know people are depending on you you know that you're depending on yourself you know you you signed up for this you believed in yourself enough to sign up for it but that pressure kind of puts you in a position where you have to create something you know and you know that the other person is going to create something Absolutely. And, you know, so you, you bring out your best work. People are always putting out their A game. And as the competition goes on, the ante gets higher. And so, you know, people are producing even better art, you know, and they've got a feel for it. They've got more confidence in what they're doing. They're feeling like they might just win. And so they start, you know, going even harder on what they're doing. And so the art that comes out of it, you can see from the art that is in the video for the promo that that's all from the competition uh, last year. You can see that people are, you know, going out there and, and doing their best work. And as the competition goes forward, it, it gets better. So, you know, the art book itself is going to have uh, the art from 32 different artists who have different backgrounds, who are also getting outside of their comfort zone. You know, when we say like, you know, hey, you have to do something in, a, in an anime manga style and you're talking to a fine artist who doesn't watch anime or manga. You know, that's like, they're like, oh, shit, what do I do? And so it's always amazing, you know, to see what they come up with. You know, uh, you're talking to somebody who does comic books and stuff, and you're like, okay, we want something that's, uh, we want life, we want life drawing. You know, we want that out of this tournament. And like, here's your word, here's what you have to work with. To see how they interpret that, see what they do, it's always amazing. So the art book is going to be really, really awesome. And it's, if, if you don't have like, you know, a hundred dollars to throw to sponsor somebody, I suggest you go down on the $20 art book or the $15 so you can get your hands on the digital copy because it's going to be really, really good. And your own, and the art that you see in that book is only going to be in that book. You know, you're not going to see this in, you know, in a comic book somewhere or it's in not gonna a, be published not anywhere else. It's not going to be. Yeah, unless yeah. you follow those exact artists and they decide afterwards, like, hey, I'm going to show everybody this. But you're not going to see the collection of all that art anywhere else. Mm. So it's a really good, um, it's a really good uh, deal. It's going to be, you know, 32 artists. Um, it's going to be like, I forgot the math on this. Something like uh, over 60, 70, you know, different art pieces. Because every week, you know, someone will produce art. And so every single art, every single week, all the art that's produced will be compiled in that book. So it's going to be really amazing. Plus you get to read the, you know, the thought processes that people have behind their work, you know? So 
sometimes people have really complex reasons for um, for making the art that they make. You know, last year, uh, Lindsay, she, she um, did a piece where she uh, had on one side the, the child, of, I mean, her child and a father and a guitar in the middle, and she goes into... Hold on, I'm turning... You know, I'm gonna uh, have this. Yeah, she goes into how, like, you know, the... Uh, she goes into the connection between her son and, and her son's father and uh, how she sees both of them every day in her son and stuff. And it's really amazing stuff, the, the, the things that people put into these art pieces. So it's, it's, it's going to be an amazing book. I can't say enough how great it's going to be. It's so great, man. It's so great. It's great to hear the passion in your voice, too, about this, too. Because you, you can tell that this isn't just something that you're just doing because it's like, you're not you're not doing this for to, to, for money. You know what I mean. You're you're doing this because you love you love everything about it. You know you're doing yeah. it to, to genuinely help people, and that's that that's that's what got me like really fired up on this. I was like, yeah, this, <laughs> this is so legit. I, I watched the video and I was like, man, that's awesome. That's awesome. Now, how'd you get into comics? Um, basically because uh, I don't know, it's just something that I've always wanted to do. Um, I, uh, unfortunately, uh, living in California, there's not really a big, uh, there's not <laughs> really a big, uh, comic book community. It's not something that's actually something you can study. So I had to, uh, kind of come up with my own curriculum. I went into a uh, film school or became a film major so I could learn how to, uh, learn visual narrative and such and learn how to write and storyboarding, sto yeah. storyboarding, writing. And yeah, exactly. Learn yeah. all that stuff. Um, so I had to come up with my own curriculum and, uh, did all that, uh, got out of, uh, got out of school, decided I'm going to, you know, finally do what I've been trying to do since I was like eight years old. And that's like make a comic book. And, you know, it was just like, it's it's something that I, I kind of always figured that I would be doing. Um, right. It's not like, uh, I know that for comic books, a lot of people just kind of fall into it. You know, like, ah, uh, you know, I was doing storyboards and I was working in animation and I thought about this idea. So I made a comic book and I got together with my friends. Like, I heard that story a million times. But for me, comic books was always the thing that I wanted to do. That's friggin' awesome, man. You self-publish everything? Uh, yes, sir. Um, everything that uh, that I've ever published, and some of it is actually very, very, uh, <laughs> very not good. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> I've always, I've always had this, you know, this just opinion of like, I'm, I'm just gonna get better, you know. So Absolutely. when I first, when I first I, when I first started making comic books, I didn't let the fact that I didn't know what the hell I was doing stop me. You know, I just um, kind of just hacked at it and everything and um, decided like, you know, I'm going to do this comic book. I got this idea. Um, so I did like a quick 12 page thing. And I moved on from that to like some other stuff where I was always experimenting, trying to do something new. Uh, both of my first two comic books uh, didn't really pan out because I was just kind of all over the place and, right. and stuff. But the comic book that I do now is something that kind of like uh, something I've been molding and, and thinking about for years. And I was kind of putting other ideas together. And um, it's, uh, um, I don't know exactly that, I would have ever been published if I was focused on getting published. So instead of, you know, trying to, I decided that instead of trying to like, you know, hone my art and, and my comic pages to the point where I had something that was publishable that I could just publish the art and, and publish the books and put them out there for people. And if they like it, you know, great. If not, I'm going to keep going and keep getting better at what I'm doing. Um, and if one day, you know, uh, if, if the right opportunity comes along and an actual comic book publisher, not like, you know, Marvel or DC, because they're like right. entertainment companies. But if an actual publisher came along and was like, hey, you know, I like your work, I think like we can publish this book, then all the better. But if not, 
I'm totally okay with people coming directly to me and getting my books from me and me having that connection with the people who like my work. Absolutely. Well, it, it, it just, it, it allows you to, to, to like touch, you know, like, like be, be you're accessible in that sense. Yeah. You know, you know it, it, you, you're, you're a real dude who, who's got, you know, who, who I'm, I'm sure just, I know, I know, you know, and it's, it's, a, it's basically, it's, it's, not to say that everybody has the same story, but there's all similarities in, in everybody's story. And mm-hmm. it's like, but it, it's exactly what you said. You were like, <laughs> you were like, I was going to do it no matter what, <laughs> you know, and no matter how bad it was, I wanted to get it out there. And, and just, and, and it's, it's the constant growth and it's, it's the constant, like, and that's the thing. It's like it, it, with, with, with life and with, you know, with your art career and, and everything else, it's like, it, you have to grow, you have to learn, you have to make mistakes and you have to, you know, and you learn from it all. And I, you know, I, I just know already that uh, round two of, of the artist hangout is going to be a, a thousand times better than, than round one. Hell, I wish I knew around round one. Because I fully promoted the hell out of it for you. But um, <laughs> yeah, but this is, uh, but yeah, man, just, just what you're doing, dude. It's, it's, it's great. And um, that's, that's fucking awesome. It really is. That's awesome. So well, thank you, man. Thank you. Oh, no sweat, brother. You know, it, it's, it's, it's always good to see. It's always good to see another artist doing something. You know what I mean? Rather than just a dog. <laughs> it's all good. I've got tons of videos where my kids are running around in the background, <laughs> making noise. And... Yeah. All right, so that's that's why you do these live videos because they're awesome because you, <laughs> you you get all the realness about it. Okay, so MalikShabazz.com is the website if you guys want to check out more Malik's work. Um, the Kickstarter I can't actually because I'm screen sharing this I can't actually see the Kickstarter code but I'm gonna put it in the video. Um, so if you guys want to be a part of this or you guys want to support or whatever you know what I mean like I suggest that anybody that's you know looking for a challenge and looking to get some some, you know, not, not necessarily exposure bucks, but get some like real deal experience here. Um, get involved in this. Um, mm-hmm. I know I'm going to be sharing this video myself because what you what you got going here is pretty friggin' awesome. And, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, dude, it's just great to see. So you like your work is sick, bro. You do it all digitally. Uh, yeah. Nice. Nice. You know, it's funny. I think I've been following you for a while because I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's the funny thing about it. It's like, I think I've been following you for a while because I, I recognize some of the pieces and I'm like, wait, I, I liked that before. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't think I've ever actually like reached out because, you know, other than saying, hey, they came in a great piece or whatever. But um, yeah, dude, like uh, great to link up. I'm happy we finally coordinated this. Um, in time to get it some some good promotion and get get the word out, get the vibe out, and uh, I don't know, man. Best of luck, you know what I mean. And um, I know I will do my best to uh, to help market this and promote this because I would love to see. You know, I, I always feel that like there's every every generation of of artists, you know, needs needs some um, guidance and some some type of. Uh, just some type of platform and some, some type of structure, you know what I mean? To, to get out there. And I, what's funny is, you know, it's like, I think that we're like, we're kind of like the first generation of digital artists mm-hmm. in that sense to where it's like before, and I talk about this all the time too, but it's like, you know, it's like 10, 15 years ago, or even, yeah, really like b- before the emergence of like Facebook mm-hmm. and like social media, you know, you, you had to, you know, besides obviously putting up a website, but like there was no other way to market yourself. Like you've literally had to like, um, you know, contact people and put together these ridiculous portfolios and mail them out and ship them out and go to all types of events and stuff. And, you know, so I think, I think the, the there, there, there hasn't been, um, or at least I'm not sure if anybody's like really fully figured it out, but as, as far as like the, the overall like Uber structuring of like how to properly market yourself as an artist, you know, using social media, using platforms, using, everything that's available and taking full advantage of it, you know, to, to, to be able to, to monetize it a hundred percent and, and utilize it as well as you possibly can. 
you know, that, that, that's, that's my ultimate goal is just like crack the code. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like crack the code. Cause before it was like, it was, it was all who you knew, you know, it was, it was all who you knew. You were, you were either connected or, or you were out. And now it's like, just, just like you're saying, it's, it's like you, you can, you can put up a website, you can put out your own work, you can do your own marketing and what happened. And before you know it, you have people coming to, to buy your own stuff directly from you, mm-hmm. which is fantastic. So, I mean, what you're doing is awesome. What you've got going on with this thing is fantastic i'm gonna stop repeating myself here um but yeah guys if, if you want to be get in with this i'm gonna put the link below the video and i'm going to so just do it you know what i mean do it get in do it and that's going to be the end of this recording